Big Daddy Sean Malone coming to you from Patriots Landing and uh, this is George, our cat, named after George Washington, first cat of the farm. Anyway, the video you're about to watch um, is uh, us putting in our orchard. We've been wanting to put in our orchard for a couple years now um, and we finally decided on what kind of apple trees we wanted and where we wanted to put the orchard. So. Uh, we put it up above the garden spot that we're going to have, and it'll get plenty of sunshine and uh, very accessible for mowing around and maintaining once it comes in. Uh, I got these trees from Mossy Oak Native Nurseries. Very good people to work with. They were already approximately two feet tall out of the box, and uh, they say that in six months they'll be you know, five to six feet tall under the right circumstances. So here, here's all the work we did, and uh, digging holes, putting in the trees, and uh, putting the tubes on them, and I got a little video for that. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you in the field. Isn't that right, George? Hey, it's Big Daddy, Sean Malloy coming to you for Patriots Landing. Here's my lovely wife, Jennifer. And we've been, uh, wanted to put an orchard in here at the farm. And we finally got our uh, trees in and uh, planted them. So we've got two types of apples. We have a gala. a gala apple and a golden delicious. And we've alternated them due to a technical malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna have them all in one row, one, one type on each row, but we had a little technical difficulties. We ended up having to stagger them, but it's going to look fun anyway. Yeah, I didn't read. I, I wasn't going to mention your name, <laughs> but we all know who makes mistakes around here. <gasps> oh. Anyway, um, we got our uh, tree protectors on uh, from Native Nurseries. It, cre great. it creates a little greenhouse. And the other cool thing is that it's vented at the top, solid at the bottom. So if you come and spray for weeds, you're not going to spray your tree and kill it by accident. So it'll make it easier for weed control and if I mow around it and stuff so it gives the tree protection from the critters as well so we're excited and uh, just wanted to share it with you so there it is we'll see you next time in the field <laughs> hey I wanted to show you uh, this tube and how we set it up if you look right here the tube I got these from a uh, Mossy Oak Native Nurseries, it's perforated right here as you can see until you get down to about right here and then it's solid and that protects your uh, plant from any spray 
and then we went ahead and put the weed block down and we had some old tires laying over here in the uh, side of the field so I took my uh, battery powered sawzall and cut them in half to be the base to protect and uh, hold this uh, weed block down so we can weed eat around it without damaging them as you can see we got four tires there made eight or that and then we also had a couple of bushes that we had ordered that are for the wildlife we went down on the creek and planted one of those it's a conservation bush that uh, holds a bank soil at your creek helps prevent erosion so we got one of those down there and it'll uh, the root system will populate itself and then we got another uh, plant that's deer resistant but it uh, supposedly keeps mosquitoes away so we're gonna see how that goes and it's got some nice berries that come on it for the songbirds so we're really excited about our orchard and that's our little tip for today so I hope you enjoyed the video maybe in about four years you can come and have some apple pie with us Thank you. Thank you.